Hey guys and welcome back to another update, well kind of like an update on my reef tank here. So to start off with I'm just going to brief uh, overviewing what I've done with the tank in the past week. So recently, well this was only yesterday, I took out the small little wave pump in the corner of the tank. Uh, it was only pushing like 200 litres an, 200 litres an hour or something, it's even on full power it should have been pushing like 2,500 but it was pushing like nothing, it's not really worth having in the tank. So I've taken it out, I've scraped as much coralline as I can off of it, so that'll spore off into the tank and help with the amount of coralline that's producing all over the rocks. And what I've also done is I've shifted some of the rocks around in the top left corners, just some, well I moved like one small little rock and I put it somewhere else in the tank. It's nothing really you're going to notice, I don't really notice the difference, but it's slightly better now. And it's slightly more open for a little bit more flow to kind of be push, pushing through underneath the rocks, which is good. So now I'm going to discuss on my water parameters, what I plan on keeping them at in the future, and what I'm going to do to try and get them there. So to start off with temperature, I, I run currently at 24.6 degrees Celsius, around that mark. And any, anywhere between 24 and 26 degrees Celsius is perfect. So I like to run mine just under the halfway mark. Uh, obviously, the, the lower the temperature, the less evaporation you'll get. So I think 24.6 degrees is uh, just right. And nutrients, I well, currently they're at 2.5, I believe, which ideally I want them a little bit lower. Probably keeping them in between 1 and 2 is perfect for this tank because it will be a mixed reef tank. So, uh, some, some soft corals, some LPS, some SPS. So ideally you want it about one or two. So what I'm doing to try to reduce them is I'm feeding slightly less than usual. Uh, well, once a day, but it's kind of a biggish feed. It's not a huge feed, but it's just, yeah, just once a day I'm feeding instead of like two, and th two to three times a day. And my skimmer is dialed down a little bit only because it's producing a, well, a lot of noise. And I don't really need to be running it too high since I've only got four fish in it. And it is a really beefy skimmer. It's, supposed to be uh, on tanks in between like 150 to 300 litres or 350 litre tanks and this is only 115, 120 litre tanks so it's uh, it's a really beefy skimmer so I can afford to have it dialed all the way down it's at like 25% so hopefully well, I'm, I'll probably do another water change within the next week or two uh, to bring those nutrients down a little bit and now through to the uh, the main parameter in the tank uh, I think is alkalinity so I'm going to be running this I think at about in between 9 and 10 around the 9 mark which is not too high but it's also not too low it's right in the middle uh, the main reason is because I'm going to be switching salts to Fritz salt I'm currently using Red Seas Coral Pro which mixes up at like 12 I think or 11 which is quite high so I want to be running it a little bit lower so I'm going to be switching over to Fritz salt which mixes up which mixes up at about nine I think and I'm pretty sure it's one of the fastest dissolving salts which is uh, cool as well so with alkalinity it's not really what what point you have it at isn't really important the main the main thing is is that it's stable it could be at seven or it could be at 12 as long as it's stable uh, you should you should be fine and that's the same with uh, calcium and magnesium as well but corals don't really use magnesium at all so as long as magnesium is three times the amount of what calcium is uh, that should be all good and uh, phosphate I plan on having it about 0.2 maybe 0.3 at the most yeah, about 0.2 0.3 is fine for my tank so coming back to alkalinity and calcium my alkalinity is currently running at 11.2 which is I know higher than what I want to run it at is because I've been currently Doing water changes and my salt currently mixes up at 11, uh, 11 or 12 I think with Red Sea Coral Pro. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier I'm switching over to the Fritz one which mixes up at 9. So what I'm doing now is I've stopped the water changes for now for the next few weeks. And I'm just going to let my alkalinity just slowly drop down to the 9 mark. But as soon as it hits 9 I'm going to start dosing the Tropic Marin carbo calcium i think it is so it's a mix it's alkalinity and calcium all in one solution so i finally get to rig up my doser it's been just sitting in my cabinet not ru not running at all i don't even have the containers for it yet so it's just been sitting in there i'm pretty it's the tmc one 
which is a pretty good dose. So actually, I just need to get one dose in the container because it's all yeah, it's all in one solution. So I'm interested to see uh, what kind of results I get from this carbo calcium. My dad's actually using it on his 250 litre tank at the moment and is having great success with it. And I'm not too sure what my, my calcium is doing at the moment. I know it's at the right level, but I'm not really too sure the exact figure that it's at the, at the moment. Uh, but about in between 400 and 500 is good. And then, like I mentioned earlier, uh, magnesium should be three times the amount of calcium. So, for, for, for example, if, you're, if your calcium's at 500, then your magnesium should be at 1,500. And trace elements, I don't test. What I can do is just to, if it's at, at least every four to six weeks, you want to just do a water change just to make sure that, that all the trace elements are at the right level. So the maximum that I can do on this tank is a 50, well, just over 50% water change, about maybe 55, 60% water change. Which is a perfect amount, which is uh, what I've been doing recently. But as I said, I'm going to be stopping with the water changes just to bring my alkalinity down. And uh, but I do need to bring my well, I don't need, I don't have to bring my nutrients down. They are 2.5, so that's completely fine as long as they uh, don't go above 10. In, in, in between one and 10 is great for this tank, but ideally I want to run them at about one or two to minimise the amount of algae that's in the tank, like all over the glass and the rock and all that. So just a quick video on this uh, on this tank. I hope you enjoyed uh, just explaining my uh, elements in the tank, what I plan on running them at. And with next week's video, not really too sure what it's going to be. So I'll see you then. Bye.